One of the great things that actually unites all of us now involved in local government, county or districts, is we all recognise that no change is not an option. There are too many pressures both on our finances but also external environment, lots of things legally and internationally that mean we have got to change. The question of unitary is going to be uh, rumbling on for, for some time now and it's good to hear the uh, uh, county council's perspective. Local government in Buckinghamshire basically dates back to 1889 for the county council, 1974 for the district councils, we're now in 2016, nearly 2017. Really, we've got to look at what is the local government structure we want to take us forward for the next 20 to 30 years, not the one that was fit for purpose 130 years ago. I was invited to come along and um, to speak about um, the um, Town and Parish Council sector from a national perspective. And I've been sitting in on some of the workshops to get a flavour of what's been discussed and how well I think um, it's been handled, really. There's a lot of mythology going around at the moment, a lot of false narrative, if you like. I think this gives people a chance to ask those questions, clear the air, uh, and we'll give them straight factual answers. We absolutely see it central to the way in which unitary councils develop in the area, to have community hubs that really are able to deliver services at a very local level and work in partnership with other statutory providers, but also with town and parish councils, and also with the voluntary and community sector as well. I want a council that really takes in the needs of the local communities and without their opinions you can't do that. I think it's essential that the parish councils tell us what they want. We might be able to do the very district level or strategic level stuff at county but actually getting up close and personal with local communities and really delivering with them, for them, is the bit we don't do as well as we could do. If we've got towns and parishes interested in doing more, absolutely want to work with them to make better stuff happen on the ground. At the moment I'd say the jury's out of which model we'd like to support, if any. Certainly uh, the view from my council is they're very keen to take on services and run it best for the people of Chesham. For those that haven't got the capability or the capacity to do more, then that's where we need to really step in and, and up our game and what we're able to do at a very local level. And really get from the parish council, what do you want, what can we do, and then take that forward. Nothing's got to be imposed. People have got to be aware of what the opportunities are, what the benefits can be and what the drawbacks could be. I think the conversation's important to uh, see really what we want at our parish and town level and whether that's a county-wide unitary or a three-tier model, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I think that debate is very much needed and uh, welcome that. Together, we can actually make the money go as far as it can and deliver for the people we actually represent on the ground because I think that is more important going forward. I think there are a lot that are really excited, really up for new ambitious views of the way in which town and parish councils can play within the county. There are some that quite frankly are apprehensive. They're not quite sure what the new future may look like, what it might mean for their councils and indeed for them personally. Um, and we want to be there for every council to actually help them get the best from any change.